anyway. <clears throat> anyway, I'd like to welcome our listeners and viewers once again to a fantastic show with Goth and Candice, which is called Hashtag Couple Goals. That's right. Welcome back. We missed you guys. Hope you enjoyed last week's podcast. I know I definitely did when I re-listened to... Mm, it was actually nice going back and just like, you know what, uh, let me just listen to this again. Yeah. Like, hmm. I, and I even <laughs> played it for my sister and like I can't believe how honest I was in that in that episode. Yeah. It was it was honest, it was raw. Um it certainly helped being that honest on uh on the show because like the the days that led up off that followed afterwards mm. um yeah, like especially where, where my parents are concerned, you know, um, it helped getting it out there and realizing like that's how far I've actually come and I don't have to be that person that, that I saw or those people that I saw growing up. So it was, it, was, mm. it was really interesting. Look, and that's also another thing we've always agreed when we start the podcast or when we were busy with preparations for the podcast, we always say that we'll be honest mm. and, um, you know, straightforward and just say the way it is yeah you know, and yeah. not hide anything away so yeah because i mean then what's the point then we're talking yeah, about our bums <laughs> can't make up things along the way so yeah but in today's um, episode we actually want to talk about something that's um that i'm so glad no one asks us anymore yeah only here and then in between if people like meet us for the first time it's like and i think all the listeners and viewers know what the big question is Especially for younger couples that always get married. Yes. What is that vraag wat hulle altyd wil vra? Wat dink jylle? Do you have children? Wanne kry jylle kinders? Yeah, and then the other one is like, don't, don't you like children? Like, <laughs> we love kids. We no. <laughs> love other people's kids. Other people's kids, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we always said we're going to be that, that uncle and aunt where... All the children gathers and they come here to this house, mm. have a fun time. We spoil them and then we send them off home yeah. back to their parents. Yeah, we no, we we, we, nice <laughs> we do love kids. Um, it's not that we don't like kids. I mean, okay, let me be more specific. We like well-behaved kids. Oh, big yes. difference. Yeah, yes. We we like well-behaved kids, and there's nothing more that Auntie Candace likes to do um, than to reprimand your child. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's another topic. Um, but while we're on that subject, I mean, how do you guys feel about someone else reprimanding your child? And I'm obviously talking about in a very nice, loving way. Yes, pretty fun. Um, yes. 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 Opang achter die deur nie en dan ja yeah. is praat die van dit nie en so verkeerd verstaan nie. Ons wil weet um, hoe voel jylle if um, that certain person reprimands your kid, you know. But like like you said in a mm. nice way, a, yeah. You no, know, no, not being rude or anything. But um, how do you guys feel about that? Because I feel if we had kids and my child was being naughty or rude or disrespectful, I would, I would want, want yes someone to be like, that's not nice. And Jake, you all the day, auntie. Yeah. But come in, hello, hello, is die jou huis? Yes. Is die jou maase huis? Klim it af van my couch af, as it klim it af. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but in today's world, I, some people don't want you to reprimand their child. Now, I've done it to like my family's kids and I would then either do it in front of your child, in front of, of you, you, yeah, yeah um, or I would go and speak to you and tell you that your child is being rude. But best you know, if you're not going to do anything about it, I'm going to then remind you to do something about mm. it. Because exactly, yeah. there's nothing like an unruly child jumping on your couch, um, screaming at you while mm. you're talking mm. to another and I Oh, I can't. Uh-uh. I, I can't. And they are blame the parents. But anyway, look, that's another topic for another day. Yeah. Maybe we can get in a child expert or something in one, one of these days, you know, to come and chat to us about that. But for us, it was more of, um, yeah, let's start at the beginning. I mean, when I met you. Yes. All we could, we, talk, all we could talk about, about was, was, was children, kids. you know. Yes. 
And um, I'm like to be you, honest, I was very happy God didn't have a child before. Geen los kennis nie, jammer vir die woord, but yeah. So, yeah, all you guys know, I do come from a, another marriage. Mm. I've been, I'm, I was divorced and um, we had no kids. But um, I just love the fact of looking after other kids. Or but your having ex, kids your, at your the ex house. had a kid. Yes, she yeah. had a son, Umar. Mm. And... Um, you know, he had a lot of friends mm. and they were all his age and they all grew up in front of me mm. all these years. Well-respected children, well-mannered, seriously. They used to come there and I was like the big father, you know, I was mm. like the father. I, um, most of them never had a father, but yeah. Most of them were single parents. So they would come to our house, they would rather chill there, do whatever they need to do there mm-hmm. because I didn't want them to do anything on the streets. And then I would look after them. There were times where I fed them as well because mm-hmm. some of them didn't have any food at home. So then I would make a huge uh, pot of food and then feed, feed them. You mm. know? And um, those were good memories. Just the fact that I could, that I had a lot of patience and that I could look after them. But for me, having my own kid after meeting you, like we always used to say, there was just, too many things that we wanted to do as a couple. Yeah. And we met very late. But do you remember, that, was even, that wasn't even a factor when Mm-mm. we met. Like, all no. we could do was, I remember going and walking around in Canal Walk, um, you know, the Toys R Us that's downstairs. And I was very into this, um, look, I was, was always like... like wasn't the, the prime thing? Yes. You know, so whatever uh, the overseas people have, I also want. And then Toys R Us had this pram that converts... Into a car seat mm. And I was like I'm obsessed with this I mean we would Oh and ah oh, When we saw ki- babies Okay we still do it But that time it was like Oh my word We can't wait to And the little shoes Yes and the and clothes little dresses, And little so And the cute. pants And tops <laughs> And little jackets And you're always like Oh I, oh, yeah, yeah. Your mom. And I and would we like still do it Yes in my mind I would dress up our childhood And I, I've always wanted Like boys Like my Boys already had names. One would have been Alexander and the other one would have been Daniel. I just, I love those names. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe we must get those dogs and then call them Alex and Daniel. And dress them up. <laughs> and like, imagine like, you know, they have a hip hop daddy and like the gold chain. And like, I always, the do, I always tell Candice and I tell Candice, you know what? I'm going to dress up my boy with all. The Tim's look and yes. the baggy jeans yeah. are like the yeah. 90s. <laughs> they were like, Vafal Deacon Banana. <laughs> and then, you know, it was it was fun preparing, although mm. I, I, yeah, I, I, I never wanted a, a child out of marriage. Um, so, you know, and then Goth and I started now planning our wedding. And then we had this discussion <laughs> via email. And then oh, afterwards I was like, why do you want to wait so long to get married? And then he couldn't understand why. So I was, I just turned 32 when I met you. Mm. And we, you wanted to wait until the next September. Yeah, and I and was then. like, no, how can you wait? It's going to take me so much months to like get my body in. And then I was full pregnant. And then I'm going to be like so old. And then you even had to ask your supervisor, like, what does this mean? Your colleagues at work. And then they explained to, you know, like a woman's biological clock, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. And, and I said, yes, we still also need to do renovations at the place. And all this stuff. We had so much <laughs> So stuff. it went from September 2014 to April 2014 when we got married. That, look, that's the real reason why we got married early. Because yeah. we didn't want to waste any more time not exactly. getting pregnant, you know. And um, I'll never forget, like, we got, we got um, married. And then the next weekend was um, my cousin wanted someone's um, baby shower. Yeah. And the first thing my auntie did was when I walked in was ask, is she all pregnant? And I'm like, no. We had those, uh, th- that same question a couple of times already. Every time we used to go to a, a family function, is she all pregnant now? Yeah. Is she all in life? Yeah. When are you going to When am I going to be a grandma and all this? Ay, and then mama. reality started sinking in, you know. Um, then we, Garth and I started doing things that, 
together that he's never experienced before. And I've possibly experienced it, but it was never with someone that I genuinely loved and that someone that genuinely mm. loved me. So it was like our first sunsets, going away on holiday. Um, yeah. Just loving life, man. Because you were cooped up in the house back in the day and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that was my thing. Um, yeah, you I didn't was always have stuck that. in the house. There wasn't a car. There mm. was nowhere to go. Um, there was hardly money to go anywhere. Yeah. So I was always in the house. It was in always house. just like external factors. I never got factors. to see Cape Town at all. Yeah. And I kept on buying, because I wasn't on any contraceptive, um, and I kept on buying... Um, uh, pregnancy tests and things, and every month it would be like negative. Mm-mm. And I was like, okay, okay. And then, you know, reality really then set in because then the roof needed to be fixed. And, and don't forget, we started doing the whole, um, what you call it, adding up, you know, our, our finances. Yes. And um, then we could see, okay, cool. There was maybe a loan that we took out previously to have this fixed so, or that to renovate, do the renovations, do the renovations yes, and that. Yes. So once you start adding all of that, your and the traveling expenses, um, I don't know what else it was. There was so much stuff. We had a very long list every <laughs> month. Yes. And we of, always yeah, try goals, to, to yeah. minimize to see where we mm. could save on money. Mm. You know. Mm. And once we added everything up, it was like, how, how do other people survive? By having one child. Yes, because then you add up nappies and then you add up formula wow. and then then you add up the hospital bill and then you add up all these things and it just she became a, something of like... I think we, we yeah, we mm, added little anxiety attacks. It's yes. like, are we going to manage? And then we started eight, um, adding up our age um, by the time we do have a child and then that child's age. And then every time we skip a few years and then it's like, okay, it's high school. What will our age be now? <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, the, before the child gets to college, we are like in a retirement home. Yeah. <laughs> so that wasn't, that wasn't going to work. No, that wasn't going to work for yeah. us. And, yeah. I, and I was always that type of person. I don't want to bring a child into a world and then we have regrets afterwards. Mm. No, which is not mm. fair. Yes. I don't think it's fair for, for any parent to bring a child and then say, yeah, no, die kind, die sa, die kind het alles gespoil. Yeah. And you do have friends like that. Yeah. I mean, don't fool yourself. Stop lying. We've heard people. We, had, we have, like, seriously heard people say that. The minute you have a child, everything changes. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? I don't have time for myself. I wish the child wasn't here. Mm. So, I don't want to do things like that. Yeah. And yeah. I just say it's not fair. Mm. No, it that is. Child, and like, fair. some people will say a child is a blessing. I I'm I, I I don't believe that. Like for me, um, a child is conceived by science. It's sperm and an egg, and then a child gets made. But also, like God breathes life. So, and talking about that, I mean, I, I it, it never happened yet. So, you know, mm. <laughs> so it wasn't meant for us. And I also think if if we looking back now. And taking into consideration what's been happening in our family. Yeah. Like, we needed to be childless Mm -hmm. for a time such as now. You know, we are free and able to help. You know, there's nothing tying us down. Um, It's just there's a lot of things that's happening in our relationship, Mm. being married as a couple. Mm. And we have duties that we have to attend to Mm. as a couple. Mm. Um, So, for us to have a child... As well, it's it, it wouldn't have worked. It wouldn't have worked. worked. It, was, it was going to be too much. Yeah, and I must tell you guys. I mean, I'm a lady, so usually like the mother stays at home, and like you know, mm. for four <laughs> four months, and the guy goes to work. I was always of the opinion that immediately after giving birth, Goth can stay at home, and I'll go work. Yeah, I'll like, be the stay home dad. Yeah, I was. I never envisioned myself staying at home, being a stay at home mom. Like. I love to earn my own money. I love working. I love being around people. And I'm not a very patient person, which I've admitted on the show numerous (laughs) times. And I always saw, like, Garth being the at-home dad. Like, you would have thrived. I always said, if I have a child, my child must be like him, 
just with my color eyes. Mm. <laughs> That's all. Because I, I would never be able to handle another me. Like, I, I, can like you, you imagine? Say, if the child must come running to you, then you'll turn the child around and say, go to daddy. Yes, go, go to daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and look here guys We had like this whole plan eh? like we, yeah, we, we had were, everything planned out to the T We were yeah. like like Because I work uh, That time we were staying in Mitchell's Plain so, And my sister's on the way to Kenilworth So I was like you know if my child It's time for me to go to work And I drop my baby off at my sister's place Because she's got four children so they can babysit They're all well you know, mannered so and, you There know. was a plan we had mm. a plan mm. It just didn't work And even she was out. like like game oh my for it. God, she was gosh, like, man, he could "Why not? Just yes. drop the child here. Just come pick the child up after work yeah. and whatever." And so we like, "Oh, shot it!" So we got like a nanny. If we need to, you know, hoy or yes. whatever. <laughs> we have four, five nannies. Five nannies. Yeah, yeah. and I also I'll never forget this conversation I had with my eldest niece and um in the house. And I said, "Oh my word!" You know, like. Uh, imagine like on our first anniversary I tell uncle I'm pregnant And Shorty's like Oh it'll be so cute And like I remember immediately after feeling like Ugh, Am I going to afford it <laughs> 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 Because I feel You do your child such a disservice If you don't plan for your child Especially it's in South important. Africa and Especially in this day In yeah. these times I mean we stay close to the Otri Flats And I mean the amount of kids is just running around Where's their parents? And most like, of them As what we've heard before That most of them are not in school We've seen kids that's, that's running around in the children school. Children that's six, seven, eight years yes, old. Yes, and younger even. I think you to work, I come back, I see, but you spell kinders are not better. Yeah. Are you in school, Tony? It, it's, it's crazy. And then there's this whole, idea, this whole idea that the government must look after your child. But anyway, we're going off on a tangent. Yeah, yeah. that is a topic, that <laughs> is a discussion for another topic. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, guys, like, in in all honesty, I I even had an abortion um, about sixteen years ago, because at the time I was in a relationship, and you know what? I actually fell pregnant the most cliched way. I was on a contraceptive, but I had the flu, and I took antibiotics. <laughs> like how weird is that? No. So I found out I was pregnant, and the first. Thought was I'm getting an abortion Like there wasn't even A moment to change my mind And I will I, I will never forget The relief I felt When we got I got the appointment And when it was my day to actually go in And I was Happy Now look I'm not glorifying abortion It's my story that I'm telling Um I know of one of my close friends, she um, st- she asked me, like, how was it for you? Like, did you have any regrets afterwards? I said, no. And she was also in a very similar position, but then she mis- unfortunately miscarried. Um, and I said, it's not for everyone. Like, mm-hmm. you really need to be mentally strong and you must really know that this is what you don't want. Yeah. And I could never envision myself even being with this guy that I was pregnant from. Having him in my life as a baby daddy, like we were already not getting along then. Imagine now still having a so child. So you still would have ended up being a single parent. I would have, and then so. fighting with the baby daddy for maintenance money, like no, that's that not my life. Yes, and then I must. For my child. And, and like I said <laughs> in the previous <laughs> episode, like I was already insecure, and I just imagine I must now still see this baby daddy with a new person. Like, n- no. So I already was like thinking selfishly because I was thinking about myself. But then I was also thinking about the child. Like, I don't want that child to grow up in that environment. Like, mm. I already experienced a dysfunctional marriage with my parents or dysfunctional home life. Like, I don't want that. And that's what I said yeah. in last, the last episode, you know. So it was an easy decision for me to make. And I, I, I've i never regretted it. Never. It's it's weird. Because I've only always read about people that regret their decisions. Mm-hmm. And then I never told my mom, guys. <laughs> Up until this year. In fact, she just asked me. 
uh, lo and behold, my sister already told her, but she, I never told her because my mom is very spiritual, as you guys know. And she would have said, yes, you had an abortion, so you cursed your womb and you closed your womb. And I knew, like I said, I knew why I made the decision. But I also, I also then asked God, you know, forgive me. If that was not something that was wrong, whether you are on the left side of the fence or right side of the fence yeah. of the political either world, way. either way, it's your body. And I asked God, and then when she asked me, and I, I told her, I did, and, she, and then she wanted to go into that conversation. I said, Mm-mm, please stop. I already prayed about it. I've already asked God forgiveness, and I've also forgiven myself. Yeah. And I'm fine. Yeah, you have to forgive yourself. I'm to okay. Move forward, yeah. So. Um, and I. I I surely can get pregnant, but I think, babe, like, I mean, I think. Yeah, I think the problem could be me as well. Mm. Look, we haven't gone for tests or anything or, you know. But um, it's not that for me, uh, like, it's a bad thing. Mm. Because, uh, look, we we both uh, decided not to have any children. Yeah, yeah. And that's fine with me. I mean, we had this discussion over and over oh, just yes. to make sure, babe, are yeah. you okay? Yeah, are you sure? Yeah, like once you a year, I'll check yeah, in always, on God. <laughs> but we, we're quite fine. And, yeah. you know, I've got, I've got no regrets. I've got um, none mm. whatsoever. Mm. Um, I'm happy. I'm in a happy place. Yeah. And uh, like we've always said, there, there's so much stuff that we – that we started learning from each other and that mm. we want to achieve still in life. Mm. You know, mm. God willing, if we do get there, but this, we have bigger dreams. We've got so much that we want to do. And I mean, so, look how stressed out we were just from June till now. Just from sorting out the, the, album, the album. You know, I mean, that was really stressful. The takeover album. It was album. fun, but still stressful. Yeah, it took out took a lot of our time, yeah. you know. And there was, there's an episode that I watched on Sex in the City where Samantha, uh, go, oh God, just finally started watching Sex in the City. <laughs> You're actually enjoying it. Delay. <laughs> oh, and then there's this episode where Samantha throws a, a party with uh, a, a, a not having children party. And then there's this meme that comes up every year that I shared where she has a party. And it's like, cheers, my period has come. <laughs> like, no kids. And that was me. <laughs> For the longest time, you know, not knowing that, like, what the issue may be. Um, but yeah, like, that's how I feel every time, you know, that it's so it's so funny to say it out loud. It sounds almost like we're celebrating in it. But why can't we? If this, was our, if this is our decision, why can't we celebrate mm. in it? Why can't we be proud that we've made this decision for ourselves? I don't think having a child is going to make, Bring God and I any closer than yeah, what we the, are. The, look, and there's, and there's so much um, marriages where that we've spoken to people that mm. we've spoken to where they say that, you know, guys, um, don't have any kids. It's not worth it. Or it changes the it relationship. It changes everything. Mm. Um, the relationship that you had with your wife. It's not the yeah, same your anymore. Spouse, yes. And then you know, we, we stare at the people and we're like, huh? Yeah. But you listen, you No, you married for so much years already, but you're telling this now to us. Mm. Like don't get ma- um don't get married. Uh don't, don't get any ki- don't have kids, kids. guys. Yes. Yeah. Just do what you guys are doing now, enjoy life. Mm. You know, if you wanna go if you wanna tour or go away, you, you can do that. You don't need to worry about children and stuff. Mm. Now we hear all this stuff. So it's like okay, did we dodge a bullet? Mm. Because we're supposed to hear the other way around. Where people say, oh, no, you know, can this is so late, come to it. And, yeah. Oh, look, I, look, children nothing wrong, do bring you know? joy. I mean, yes. if I look at my nieces, and I couldn't even imagine the world without them now, really. Like, they are... They are my kids. I mean, they're like our kids. They yeah. are really like our kids. Yeah. I mean, we spoke about Ivana already, who's like she is. The, she could be. She could literally be our child. Our daughter. Yeah, yeah she could be our child. So I mean, alles geerf. Yeah, like I. Th- yeah, it's so it's so weird, you know. And so, so it doesn't actually say that mm. we we hate kids. No, that's not, that's not the point. You know, not God, at all. 
I, I, I don't know if you can remember, I used to tell you like how I come home, uh, how I watch this um, influencer, this Instagram influencer lady, um, Daisy Perkins, if you guys know her, she is such, she's, she's Latina, she's Mexican, she's um, a, a, a music, a music, a makeup, she started makeup blogging and mm. then, you know, um, she's the eyebrow lady and she and her husband are together for so long and then they've always been trying to have a child and she did every time she would like do a video or post and mm. I mean I would sit at work and bawl my eyes out for this heartbreaking story because she can't have kids and then I always used to question myself like why would I be feeling so so, so sad and, yes for yeah. this person yeah. and yeah I don't want to have children and then she did a series and at the end of the series she announced that she's pregnant and like nobody at work knows who this person is and <laughs> I'm like Candace why is your eyes so red and I'm like she's pregnant who's pregnant <laughs> Everybody think it's someone else. I mean, I member. commented on this. I, if I, she shares, if she shares pictures and photos of her son now, um, ocean. I'm like, oh, he's so cute. He's adorable. And then again, I question like, is there something mm-hmm. wrong with me? You know. But I think it's also because society has told us. A uh, man and a woman, and you must get married. You get married, mm. and you must have children. And you must have so much children. Yes. Mm. And I mean, how annoying is it? If someone who can't have kids gets asked all the time, we know you're getting pregnant. You know, we need to be nicer mm. to, to, especially to women. We need to be nicer to women. And we need to also understand that women have the right to want to have kids and to not want to have kids. Yeah. And it's, it's completely okay, yeah. especially in today's it. world. Yeah. I mean... If I think about our parents' years, I mean, your mommy, them were how many kids then? They were, yes. Ten, they were my ten. mommy, them were mm. eight. I think my dad, them was, I think, nine or something. Or yeah. Seven or something like that. Because I remember them telling the story how they used to come visit each other. And then mm. then she calls my dad and my dad must step over them. Like, yes, walk over they them, used to live in one bedroom and, you know, homes. And so much children, and mm. you know, like the way to how the kids put for the ice week, and it's just like times have changed, man. You know, times have changed, and I, I just, I feel seriously, I feel like, babe, we nothing's gonna, a child's not gonna bring us closer, really. Oh, no. And when I do feel broody, I just call one of my nieces and I spend a day with them, and then like, okay, you can go home now. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. Bye. Yeah, yeah, that I mean that that's our story. And um I'm just glad I'm glad you yo, I'm glad my mommy stopped asking us. Oh yes. However, God's mommy was always the one to tell us like don't she have a saying, child. She yeah. was like Yeah, she always like used to dis- not discourage her, that's such a negative, but almost no, like, she like um, I think because she could see what our purpose was and what we were aiming for in our focus as a couple. Yeah. And then she stopped asking and then she just said, Bitch, what? If you guys don't want to have kids, that's up to you. That's yeah. next for kid as you don't want to have kids. Yeah. Your mommy never so like, once oh, asked me what was Okay. <laughs> so like always, but she didn't have a last time when she had a kid. Uh, uh. But she was Quite fine. Yeah, she was quite fine. Once we explained to her, like after a year, yeah, I think I that she, we... She understood everything. Yeah, yeah she was like... But my, my, mommy, yeah, my mommy literally stopped only last year. Like stopped asking mm. us. Oh, don't let me be bloated. Guy. Like guys, I am not... The, I'm a curvy girl. From <laughs> all <laughs> angles, that, right? That's always funny. I'm curvy. And don't let me be, be bloated curvy. Oh my word. Oh, Jessica pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's way no, it's just, yeah, <laughs> no, it's that. It's the pre, the pre month, please. <laughs> but she gets it now, and um, so does everybody else. And mm. I mean, I still want a doggy. I want. I really do want a doggy. I want a doggy that can jump on the couch and and it doesn't shitty. Yes. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> 
<laughs> so lounges, that's that that's us. That's why we don't have mm. kids. And that's it's us in a nutshell. It's just the two of us. So Goth and I are now finally going to start getting back into our healthy living. Yeah. Because it's just gonna be the two of us. I need to get rid of this good ear that I'm carrying around. <laughs> this eighteen inch before it turns into a 22 20. or something. <laughs> <laughs> and you get rid of this good ear. But Deflate. You know, yeah, but, but babe, it's just going to be the two of us, you know? So we need to look after ourselves. Yeah. Because it's not like we have a child or someone at home that we can call if, you know, like the hip breaks and then it's a hip replacement and all that stuff. Because God will probably phone me to the hospital and be like, babe, where do I find the spice? You know, like it's yeah. going to be like, he's, he's kind of lost without me. <laughs> so we it need to look yeah. after ourselves. Uh, maybe yeah. that's my kitty. <laughs> <laughs> I think my kitty was it. Yeah. So lounges, we'll be back with another episode next week. Yeah. Hope but, you enjoyed this one. Yeah. And follow us on all our socials, all our socials. Mm. And um, speech, send us your comments. If you like our yeah. posts, share. If you like our episodes, share it. Share it with people that you like especially this one if someone who's struggling to get pregnant or who doesn't want to have kids show it to them and be like you see there's other people out there like you yeah, that's not spaghetti <laughs> nothing wrong check a little it. and share it yeah. yeah so until next time see you guys be safe bye, bye.